So hi guys and welcome back to the Afropoetan podcast. My name is Veni and I'm the host and creator of the Afropoetan podcast. So today I wanted to talk about something that's it's something that's been troubling me for a very long time. Um, it's something it's a it's term and terms that became very very um, prevalent within you know the social justice space and within the talks of diversity and inclusion um, a lot last year especially within the UK and also within America but I'm going to talk more specifically within the UK but I want to talk about today the terms BAME the term POC um, and also the term, the term BIPOC so first of all BAME stands for Black Asian Minority Ethnic then POC stands for people of color and then BIPOC stands for black indigenous people of color now first of all I absolutely detest these terms like I absolutely detest these terms first of all they're not progressive at all if we're talking about social justice reform um second of all you know it's grouping loads of different ethnicities and communities all in one group and in one box when in reality all of our experiences and all of our challenges are totally different um and you know some communities are more marginalized than others so yeah and as a black woman i really hate being classed as pain and poc b i POC is that last, that doesn't really um, affect us in the UK because we don't have an indigenous community as you do in America but it's extremely extremely non-progressive and I think in order for change to happen we need to start addressing issues at the root cause and just calling it calling out the issues and saying it what it is because I also hear black people using the terms BAME and POC and it's like oh very politically incorrect and it sounds all very nice and whatnot but the reality is where you know black people of African descent we're not POC well we're not BAME like please make it make sense to me and being classed in BAME, you, there's, you know, schemes, there's all these other things where they talk about BAME, 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 BAME. And, you know, p companies or um, organisations can say they're doing something and, yeah, we have X amount of people within the BAME community. But maybe within that um, organisation or within that company, there's only people of, of an, Asian, um, an Asian background. So how BAME doesn't just include Asian people, so how... How is that in, how is that inclusive yes actually that, that's a great it's, it's also not an inclusive term as well although although it comes across as inclusive people can also use it use it for the opposite to not do inclusive things and poc again is an actual i really do not like it because poc can when people are talking about poc issues the issue that a black person faces is not this issue that an asian person faces and also POC also includes people of um, um, Arab um, of Arab descent and also it can include people um, like Chinese people, Japanese and so forth. Again, I'm not saying that those communities don't have their own issues and their own struggles, but you can't compare um, a black person's experience to an Asian person to an Arab person's experience. Japanese experience and so forth hence why I really feel like we just need to dismantle these terms and just get rid of them and I also really would like black people to stop using them as well I understand that the issue of race the issue of diversity within workplaces the issue of um, just diversity include diversity and inclusion within society in general is a difficult topic to talk about me myself personally I've also had challenges sorry within the past also talking about it but I still you know use my voice to speak up and to talk about how I feel what I feel is right and what I feel is wrong but I also I make a conscientious effort to say to say as a black woman as a Ugandan woman I make that to my point because that's what I am I'm not in some BAME category I'm not a POC person and I'm not um BIPOC so 
I really, I just really hope this year in 2020 that people please stop using these terms because I see them in articles, I see them in, I, I see everywhere, I see everywhere and I'm not attacking people that use those terms, I'm attacking the terms themselves and I think sometimes people generally are using them um, for for good but I think at the same time there is this whole thing of oh, okay let, let me not say black, let me say POC because it sounds better or no just say black like i think there's this been there's this negative a attachment to the term black and there's so many negative connotations but with me i don't see my blackness as a hindrance i don't see my blackness as a negative i see it as a positive although i don't like beyonce black is king do you know what i mean the blacker the berry the sweeter the juice do you get me so that was just something I just really, really wanted to just get off my chest in this 2020. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so I am actually going to be doing more videos like this, but I'm going to be talking about more um, societal and cultural topics um, pertaining to black people and how things affect us and how certain things need to stop and how we as black people need to work to, to you know, to, to better the community. So yep, so guys, please like, share, subscribe and leave a comment and I'll see you guys soon. Take care and stay blessed.